Hi, Phil Aston here from Nash Mini Magazine with episode five of the Jethro Tall Super Deluxe Edition unboxing series. And this one, we're going into real concept prog at the time, which is thick as a brick. So let's just dive in. So thick as a brick is the next one in this series. And I just want to say a quick word about saying, oh, you know, well, people like Led Zeppelin and Yes and Deep Purple couldn't have done this format because they didn't have multiple discs. There are two discs in this box, just two. So this would have worked for lots of other bands, Black Sabbath, anybody you can think of. This would have just looked fantastic on everyone's bookshelves. So this is thick as a brick, CD and audio, DVD special collector's edition. This is one of the early ones. In fact, it could have been one of the very first from 2012. Now, the only other version quickly to talk about before I go into this, if you want to track it down, is this version, um, which followed the similar format of um, the Aqualung um, first 25th anniversary edition. And I think this was put in connection with celebrating EMI's first 100 years. And it did come with the fold out newspaper, which they replicated exactly as it was. Look at that. How cool is that? So that was a that was a very, very good thing for them to do. Um, but basically as an album, there wasn't really any detail in it at all, just a fold out thing with all the other albums in the series and an interview with Jethro Tull and Martin Barr and Jeffrey Hammond. And that was your lot really. So this is the one to get. It includes a CD, Thick as a Brick, original album remixed um, by Stephen Wilson, and the DVD was the 5.1 mix and the original flat mix master transfer as well. What they did with this was basically replicate the newspaper in a font and a layout that you could actually read page for page or section by section. just as it was. So lots of hidden humour in this, for those of you who know it. And for those of you who just stumbled across it, must be wondering what the hell it was all about. But it was, <laughs> a lot of thought went into this. And when you look at it in this size, for those of you who don't have the original newspaper, which will be most of us, um, this really is a bit of social history as well, really. And then we're on to the colour supplement, as they called it which talks about the full story, interview with the tour manager, interviews with the band and on tour translations. And again, all stuff from the time. Um, so no different than all the others in respect to being able to dive into this specific album in a level of detail that you cannot do anywhere else. Pictures of tape boxes there, which is quite a, a common thing in these reissue type sets, is it not? Um, interview with the tour manager. The 1997 interview where Ian Anderson looks back at the record. The interviews with Martin and Jeffrey. And then, of course, we've got the tour dates, what was happening at the time, where they played. Um, lots of pictures, if you can see those to look at. This is probably more pictorial and less essay than the other sets. And I wonder if that's because they hadn't quite devised where they were going. You've got the Italian lyrics, because you never know, the lyrics in German. And then a view of the band's outfit and tourage at the time as well. And an explanation of who's who. And then Stephen Wilson's remix cartoon at the back as well. So absolutely superb. And I think this one is going to re-emerge soon as a reissue. So that was Thick as a Brick by Jethro Tull. Just two discs. Think about all the Super Deluxe Edition, those two CD versions, those little, um, the normal kind of things you see when you get a two CD version um, edition, etc. Led Zeppelin, you could have done this, Jimmy, Mr. Jimmy Page. You could have followed this format. Imagine all the Zeppelin albums like that. Or Deep Purple. Or any band. Any band that has had two CD editions. This 
is Deluxe. And I remember I bought this as, well, as, I, as you saw in the video, I, that was the first version I bought, which I thought was quite special. And it was proper prom because it's just like one track each side. And, and, and I didn't, and before I bought it in that edition, I'd never heard it. I so say I went, you know, I go through life, you know, the music I like, you know, went through the hair metal stage. Sorry, I don't like that phrase. 80s rock, AOR, um, heavy metal, all the jazz fusion, all the things I got into. And Jethro Tull were on my radar and I had things like stand, you know, stand up and Aqualung. But I'd always thought this was probably too off the wall for me. But as you know, I'm a sucker for Hammond organ and, and I just I just love it. There's some great, great music on this. And I think this one is going to be uh, reissued. Um, I think some of them are out on vinyl as well. I probably used a final vinyl, some of them, with the Steve Wilson mixes. But that is Thick as a Brick from 1972. And on the next one, we shall be looking at a Passion Play, which is another great brother or sister addition to the previous concept album. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for ringing that notification bell so you keep up to date and you don't miss out on the next episode in this series. And thank you for Cryo, Yogi and Chris and all my patrons for all your support. Take care, stay safe, keep spinning that music and I shall see you on my next video.